So how does one convert Boolean algebra? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for over nine years. And I do want to say that Boolean algebra is a very wide, complex topic. As a matter of fact, they have courses specifically designed for Boolean algebra. Now, it's not just used in mathematics where there's a lot of logic involved, but they also are used in creating many electrical circuits. So there's a lot of engineering involved and sometimes you know there's they're used in computers as well so it, it does cover a wide variety of uh, topics now what we're going to do in the next uh, minute or so is to kind of talk about some symbols uh, for boolean algebra so the, to get, so as to give you a foundation as to what to expect but first let's get to the definition of what a boolean, what a boolean algebra is now, it's a deductive mathematical system closed over the values 0 and 1. In other words, it uses the numbers 0 and 1 a lot, meaning that it's, it's closed over the base 2 or the binary number system. 0 tends to stand for false and 1 tends to stand for true. Now, the symbol here, the open circle, is what's known as a binary operator. In other words, it's kind of like the generic symbol for the mathematical operation used in Boolean algebra. And here's three uh, specific examples. Now, first we're going to start off with the closed dot. Uh, we've seen this in algebra land as multiplication. Well, it actually is does stand for multiplication here in that it's a dot b or a times b. It stands for product, but it also stands for this word and. So multiplication symbol here stands for the word and in Boolean algebra. The plus symbol we all know as sum a plus b. So whenever you see a plus b, it is the addition symbol. But the multiplication symbol stood for and. The addition st symbol stands for or. So when you see a plus b, also understand that it stands for A or B. And then you get to what kind of looks like the apostrophe, but it's more of a kind of little a slash or sometimes used as the prime symbol. The prime stands for a complement, but what that actually is is the negation symbol. Not the uh, negative A, but instead of negative, they use A prime or A complement, as they say. A prime stands for the negation of A or not A. So. Once you have a foundation of these symbols, you'll be able to move on to other symbols and notation. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's an example of a glimpse on converting Boolean algebra.